Well, like you, many of us are excited to once again be able to dine at some of our favorite restaurants. Of course, right now we have to enjoy our food outside. But restaurant owners are also anticipating having customers stay for their meals. Our Brooke Slyer is in Whittington talking to the owner of Tino on the Tees. Brooke. Good morning, Ivy. Well, as you said, I'm here at Tino's on the Tee, and they are ready for outdoor seating. They'll be doing lunch and then dinner as well. They have the tables here behind me spaced out, the citronella candles, candles on the table. They are ready. And joining me one last time is the owner, Anthony Heinrich. So just kind of tell me about all the hard work you guys have been putting in to make this outdoor seating possible. Yeah, we have a big double deck patio out here. Um, and you know, it's always set up for the summer, but we've kind of let it go a little bit since we haven't been able to do any dining. But over the last couple of weeks, we've kind of gotten everything cleaned up. Uh, we've got new flowers put out. Uh, we got new lighting put out. Um, of course, we've done all we can for the, the mosquitoes and things like that. But we just hope people remember we can't control the weather. Uh, we can't control the bugs, things like that. And what we just ask is people be patient with us, with our wait staff, with other patrons, things like that. Everybody's been cooped up for so long and, and we just hope that, you know, everybody comes out, enjoys themselves, but also stays respectable to everybody. Um, you know, we've got the tables at six feet uh, or more and, you know, just timing, uh, you know, come out, enjoy yourself, but, you know, let's let's all try to kind of stay on a schedule a little bit so that we can, we've only got a limited number of seats. So if you see us getting packed and you're done, you know, let's try to help each other out and, and move so we can get more patrons in here. What are some of the other, I know you guys have the tables, you know, spaced six feet apart, but what are some of the other, you know, health or safety protocols you guys have to follow? So all of our wait staff, if they're coming in contact inside that six feet social distancing, they will have masks on. Um, they will have masks on our protocols at all times when they're going to be outside with customers, um, just so everyone feels comfortable. Uh, and we hope that, you know, if you, if you want to wear a mask, you're more than welcome to. And it's it just, we, we hope everyone stays safe. All right. Well, thank you so much, Anthony, for having us this morning. You know, if you want to go out to dinner or out to lunch, a lot of restaurants are also asking that you guys make reservations ahead of time. So something to keep in mind for people going out this weekend. But Nick, it sounds like it's going to be a good weekend for people to get outside and do this outdoor dining better uh, just in time for that you know if maybe you plan on heading to one of those area restaurants that hasn't been open they've got an outdoor patio that's opening up gosh it is going to be a great